Hello everyone and welcome to Robotics and Robot Operating System or ROS tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to install ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco on Windows subsystem for Linux. The material presented in this video tutorial will enable you to run ROS2 on Windows indirectly. That is, we are going to run ROS2 inside of a Windows subsystem for Linux, that is, inside of a Linux Ubuntu distribution that runs on a Windows machine. Okay, so the first step is to install Windows subsystem for Linux. For that purpose, I created a separate video tutorial that you can find on my YouTube page. Here it is, install Windows subsystem for Linux and Linux Ubuntu in Windows 11. I will provide the link to that tutorial in the description below this video. That is, first of all, install Windows subsystem for Linux by watching that tutorial. After you do that, you can proceed further with watching this video tutorial. Okay, under the assumption that Windows Subsystem for Linux is installed, let's continue. First, start Linux Ubuntu by using Windows Subsystem for Linux. Click on Start and search for Ubuntu. And if you followed all the steps, you will see this icon over here. So click on it. The next step is to verify that this is the appropriate Linux Ubuntu distribution. To do that, you need to type LSB release dash a and you should see ubuntu 24.04 that is to install ros2 jazzy jalisco you need to have ubuntu 24.04 and this is very important if you don't have this this version of linux ubuntu go back to my tutorial and learn how to install this correct version of linux ubuntu okay let's continue the next step is to perform installation. For that purpose, go to this website or search for Jazzy Jalisco install and you should be directed to this official web page. Then you should see this installation web page and over here you have several options. If you're completely new to ROS2, my suggestion is to use binary packages. However, more advanced users could try to build from source although you will rarely need a version that's built from source. Consequently, stick to the binary version. And over here, find the section Ubuntu Linux and click on this option, which is recommended. And this set of commands will be generated. Okay, so let's follow these instructions and let's install ROS2. And later on, I will explain you how to verify your installation. First of all, we have to make sure that we have a locale which supports UTF-8 encoding. Okay, so let's learn how to do that. Namely, if you type this command, you can see that my system already supports UTF-8. However, just in case that in your case it doesn't support, let's go over these commands. First of all, you need to execute this command. This command will update and it will install locales. So enter this, enter your sudo password, and wait. Then you need to execute this command, then finally this command, and finally you need to write this. Okay. However, if you run again locale, you should see everywhere UTF-8. So nothing changed. And this, this step can be maybe even skipped. However, don't skip it in order to follow everything precisely. Okay, next thing is to ensure that Ubuntu Universe Repository is enabled on our system. Consequently, let's run this command. And then let's install universe okay and let's press enter and that's it the next step is to add the ROS2 GPG key with apt consequently you need to run this command this command will update and install curl 
Curl is a very useful tool for installing software and for downloading files. Next thing you need to install, or actually you need to run this command that will set the proper key. And then you need to add the repository to the source list. So let's run this command and here it is. Good. Now, here it is mentioned that the development tools are optional. However, I don't, I don't think so. I think you should also install development tools. Consequently, run this command over here. And press yes. And now you, here you need to be patient since it's going to take a while to install ROS development tools. And now we are ready to install ROS2. So let's first run update once again. And here in the same line, I'm going to run the second command over here. You can simply do it like this. You can type this and then you can do this. And press enter. And press yes. Okay, and finally, you can install ROS2, Jazzy Jalisco, by using this command. This will install the full desktop version of ROS2 Jazzy and press yes. Now, over here, we are running everything on WSL. That is, we don't have Ubuntu desktop installed. There might be some issue with running graphics on WSL, and I'm going to address these issues in my future tutorials. For the time being, that is, if you just need to ROS to write anything on a screen, then you don't need to use desktop tools such as RVIS. And after several minutes, ROS to Jazzy Jalisco is installed. You can skip this step. That is, you don't need RMW implementations. And you can also skip this step, set up environment, since we are going to set up the environment in the example that we will try. Okay, in the sequel, we will test the installation of ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco by running a demo example. This demo example will start a publisher node inside one terminal, and this publisher node will publish a message. It will contain a text and it, it will contain a string that will increase every one second. That is, every one second we are going to publish a message through an appropriate topic. On the other side, we are going to open a new terminal and start new WSL. And inside of this new terminal, we are going to start another ROS2 node. That is, we are going to start the listener node. The listener node will listen the topic and it will receive the message and display the message on the computer screen. Okay, so let's start the publisher node or the talker node. Whenever you want to start or run a ROS2 node, you need to source the environment. Sourcing the environment means that you want to execute this file setup.bash in opt ROS jazzy. So let's run this. This bash file or a script file will set up the environment it will configure ROS2 such that you can run nodes. And then you can try ROS2 and you should see something like this. If you see something like this, this means that ROS2 is installed. And let's run the publisher node. Here it is. Now, you should see in your terminal window this. Publishing, hello world, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc. Okay, now this is the message that's being published through an appropriate topic. Next, we need to run the subscriber node. How to run the subscriber node? To run the subscriber node, you need to open a new WSL session. To do that, click here, then search again for Ubuntu, then hold shift and click over here. And here we are. We are currently in a new session. Over here, you need to Again, source the environment. That is, you need to execute this. And then you need to run the listener node. Here it is. And then if you run the listener node, you'll see the messages that are actually being published. 
and received. So let me now zoom this or actually resize this such that you can see everything in real time. Over here you can see the message that's being published and over here you can see the message that's being received and you can see that everything works in real time and if you were able to run this example this means that ROS2 Jazzy Jalisco is properly installed and you can start with ROS2 coding and that's all for today I hope that you like this video if you like the videos I'm creating please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial